There are many diagnostic tools for people with prostates. Let's take a few moments to review them. Blood tests. A simple blood test can help check for possible signs of prostate cancer, sometimes before it even causes symptoms. The prostate-specific antigen, known as PSA, is a protein made by the prostate gland. The PSA blood test measures the levels of PSA in a patient's blood. High levels of PSA may be a sign of prostate cancer or other prostate issues. Digital Rectal Exam, or DRE. The DRE is an optional physical test that feels the prostate for problems. During this test, a healthcare team member puts a lubricated gloved finger into the rectum to feel for any lumps, bumps, or abnormal shape or thickness in the prostate. Biopsy. A biopsy involves taking the tissue samples to find cancer cells. Samples of prostate tissue are removed through a needle for review under a microscope to see if they contain cancer or other abnormal cells. If cancer cells are found, an expert called a pathologist will grade and stage the tumor. The grade may range from 1 to 5. A Gleason score may also be provided which ranges from 6 to 10. A lower score means the cancer is less likely to spread. Scanning and imaging. There are many types of scanning and imaging available to diagnose and check to see if the cancer has spread beyond the prostate. This video will go over the basics and we'll take a deeper dive in our next video. Magnetic resonance imaging, MRI scans, use radio waves and magnets to give a clear image of the prostate, showing if the cancer has spread to nearby tissue. Computed tomography, CT scans, use radiation to evaluate tissue and organs to see if there are abnormalities. Positron emission tomography, PET scans, check for cancer growth by using an agent or enhancer called a tracer, sometimes called a radionuclide or molecular compound. Use of these emerging new agents in imaging can enhance traditional imaging because of its ability to highlight small changes and allow the distinction between cells. Bone scans take images of bones after a radionuclide dye is injected into the body. It is vital to ask your healthcare team which screening options are right for you. The Urology Care Foundation is the official foundation of the American Urological Association. Patient resources made possible by the generous support of Lanthius.